SVI Media. We're with Mike Hunsaker at the Star Valley Medical Center EMS Garage. Mike, thanks so much. Uh, thank and uh, a medical center EMS because it's National EMS Week. Mike, tell us a little bit about it. That's right. Thanks, Duke. Uh, Star Valley Medical Center and and all EMS services across the nation this coming week will be celebrating National EMS Week. So I'd like to encourage everybody in Star Valley to go and thank your local EMT. And tell us a little bit, Mike, about a sustainability study that I understand that the EMS service has been working with at the medical center. You know, I, that's, a, that's a great question. A, about a year ago, um, Star Valley Medical Center worked with the county commissioners and the mayors of all the towns in Star Valley, as well as uh, the EMS services in, in Star Valley, uh, here in Afton, in Thane, and in Alpine. To, uh, we developed a grant application and received a grant to study the sustainability of emergency medical services in our rural community. And as you know, it, uh, rural EMS systems are struggling right now because of the lack of volunteers. And we are uh, really interested in figuring out a way to, to try and maintain our level of service we have here in Star Valley. Our EMTs do just a fantastic job all up and down the valley, taking care of our, our, our local community. And, and they respond, whether it be night or day, rain, sleet, or snow, they respond. And, and they see uh, a lot of things in Star Valley that they're happy to help us with at the hospital. And we want to try and sustain that. So uh, this grant helped us by, uh, we found a company called Safe Tech Solutions. They actually operate EMS systems in rural America. And they did this study for us. and. They came back to us recently with some recommendations on how we could sustain EMS in our local community too. And, and we're hopeful that we can get together with all the stakeholders and uh, some grassroots efforts in the community and find a way through their recommendations to uh, sustain our EMS services in Star Valley. You mentioned it being a rural area and how difficult it can be. Uh, we're talking 50 miles at least, you know, from one end of the valley to the other that you have to cover. And then you talk about some of the services provided outside the valley as well. So is that part of this sustainability study is how to continue to manage this geographically? Yes, it, it really is. Uh, and, you know, from an equipment standpoint, uh, from a volunteer standpoint, from a do we need to have some full-time staffing uh, you know, Star Valley Medical Center does a lot of patient transfers to Salt Lake City and to Idaho Falls uh, to get people with uh, uh, conditions that we're unable to take care of here at Star Valley Medical Center to a higher level facility. That's a big part of this too, but really, you know, if you think about Snake River Canyon in the summer, you think about Grays River, you think about Palisades, Smith's Fork area on this end of the valley and all of the recreation and all of the four-wheelers and all of the trampolines and all of the horses that cause accidents. It's a big deal, you know, and, and the level of, of uh, care that we want to give to our community is not going to diminish at all. People are, are demanding more and more service in a more timely manner and frankly we've got to figure out a way to do that as a community. Uh, a few of the questions that were asked in this study were, do you want EMS, how much do you want, and how much are you willing to pay for it? And so we're, we're trying to work through all of those questions and get some consensus amongst the groups in the valley to, to really move forward and make EMS work for us. We're with Mike Hunsaker at EMS and Star Valley Medical Center. And again, just a reminder, it is EMS week, Mike. And so uh, a great staff and a great crew valley-wide and, and a lot of volunteers part of this. Yeah, I would like to just say we have volunteers up and down the valley that have been doing EMS, either as an EMT or an ambulance driver or as a first responder. They've been doing this for decades. And they're some really dedicated people to helping s people in Star Valley get to the hospital when they need it or get service when they need it. And I'm really proud of them. And, and it's a great opportunity for us to honor them this coming week. Mike Hunsaker with Star Valley Medical Center and SBI Media.